Yeah. And that's the thing I want to say to anyone is you do the best you can, but the best you can is not to ignore. So I said, Mom, I'm going to be honest with you. The only problem I had, because she was saying I shouldn't have left, and mm -hmm. I thought he was a hero to you, but he was. That's what they do. Correct. That's how they get in. Yes. They're Boy Scout leaders. They're Little League coaches. They're whatever it is. That's how they get in, and they yes. you need them. And I said, Mom, the biggest issue I had, and this is what I tell people all the time, is you told me not to tell anyone mm. when I told you, when I came back from five days in this ghetto hotel. I said, that was, it's just a mistake, though, and it's okay. Yeah. Because she carries around shame with this. Absolutely. And that's the thing is, I think that people have such shame attached to something like that. And again, this gives the pedophiles a free path. Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. the power of it is yeah. the is the silence yeah. and um, the complacency of people not responding. And, you know, your mom's response was like a lot of parents, yeah. because I've worked as a social worker for 32 years, hearing all sorts of ways children get groomed into being sexually abused. But it her response was trauma. She was a traumatized mom hearing what you had to say. And her first reaction was, oh, don't tell anybody. Why, by the way, what you're doing now is you're describing trauma is it hits your whole body. Yes. And it's, a, oh, it's a freeze. Yes. And that's what she did. Yeah, you freeze. You know, 